Dogs. They're a man's best friend, but we know that they like the ladies too, so don't feel left out. And of course they can be great with kids, as long as you pick the right breed. Not surprisingly, they are one of, if not the most popular pet brand in all the world, and that's pretty cool. What people usually picture for a dog, though, is a decent-sized canine, one that can tackle them if need be with love and affection. But you'd be surprised how many of them are tiny. Here now are 20 smallest dog breeds in the world. Number 20. Toy Poodle it's almost poetic that this is the name of the first entry. The toy poodle is indeed a tiny dog, but make no mistake, it isn't a toy. Though we suppose you should be delicate with it at times because you wouldn't want this toy to break. Now you might be thinking, how tiny is this dog? Well, at maximum, it gets to be about five pounds. What's more, it's not even 10 inches tall at max size, and not all of them will even be that tall, so that's something you need to be mindful of. Easily the most recognizable part of the poodle's appearance is their curly fur coat, and as you can see, it's very puffy and arguably makes them very adorable. Okay, so not arguably, they are indeed adorable. Not as adorable as my pet guinea pig Twinkle, mind you. But the irony here is that you'd think this dog would be a big shedder, and it's not. As a result, that makes them perfect for those who are allergic to shed fur and hair. Another benefit to this dog is their temperament. While poodles in some circles are considered pretty boy dogs because of their snobby owners, they can honestly be really smart. They learn things very quickly, are known to be a key member of the family and connect with others royally, and they aren't known for being aggressive. The only downside, aside from being rather small, is that they're known to be ones that love being the center of attention, and when they're away from their owners for too long, they can get separation anxiety. So if you're in the market for one of these tiny poodles, keep that in mind. The catch is that if you can handle it all, you might just have a really cool dog breed for your family. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Cairn Terrier Terriers as a whole are well-known dog species, and many of them are known for being really great dogs. The Cairn Terrier is indeed one of them, and despite its small size, it is a very capable little dog. This is another one that doesn't get all that tall, at maximum about 10 inches. It's a little heavier than the last dog, though, and can get as big as 15 pounds, which is good because of what it likes to do with its small frame. This, like many terriers, is a working dog. It's hardy, game, and active, and I do mean active with an energy level that's said to be, well, quite a lot, so keep that in mind. And while it is a small dog, that doesn't mean it can't get stuff done like hunting. In fact, it uses its small frame to not only stay low to the ground, but also to weave in and out of spaces in order to get at what it's after. Cairns are responsive to their family's wishes, and they try to please. In fact, they're surprisingly sensitive, which is definitely something you want with a dog, and they're also known to be quite great with children. Yet another plus. However, there are a few downsides, though, albeit ones that you can in fact control. For example, due to their high energy levels, it's highly recommended that you exercise them both physically and mentally at regular intervals, because the last thing that you want is a dog with a lot of pent-up energy. Furthermore, this dog is known to be assertive with other pets, so you want to gently introduce them to others as needed. Aside from that, well, you're pretty well set with this terrier, and it can make a pretty great friend for your home. Number 18. Norfolk Terrier Oh, what's that? You want to carry on with the Terrier watch? Well, sure. The Norfolk Terrier is another one that can be just what you want, as long as you don't mind a big dog in a small package, as they say. First, like the last two dogs, this Terrier can get to be about 10 inches high, able to get around 12 pounds in weight, so it's small, but it does make good use of everything that it has. <laughs> 
Also like our last terrier, the Norfolk Terrier is one that's known for its energy and it does want to play with you, almost in excess, so that's something that you'll need to be mindful of. All that being said, it's honestly one of the easier dog species to train, and so you'll be able to get it to heal when you need to, and that's pretty good. Oh, and this is a terrier that doesn't really have a prey drive, you know, as in it'll chase after other things that it wants to go after, and that can be rather annoying, but you shouldn't have to worry about it here. It's also a dog that's known to love being with others and has a charm to it that'll make it irresistible to most. We can already see you fawning over this dog, so I'll try to wrap it up here. But like our previous entry, this is a dog that does need its exercise, and it's got a lot of spunk within that body. It can be very independent when the situation calls for it. Now if you do keep all that in mind and are sure that you can handle it, you might just want to try out this Norfolk Terrier dog. Number 17. English Toy Spaniel You'll notice that a few of these species are named toys. Isn't that just a little bit disrespectful to the dogs themselves? They're not toys. They're animals, and furthermore, part of the family. They can be as small as toys, but that doesn't mean that they resemble them in the ways that matter. If you want a toy dog, then get a toy dog. This video's about real dogs. The English Toy Spaniel is a dog that is very much for the person who wants a more casual small dog to take care of instead of a hyper one like the last two. At 11 inches and 14 pounds max, it's a little bit of a bigger dog than the ones from before, but what this dog is meant to do is quite different from the others as well. The English Toy Spaniel is meant to be a companion dog, and by that I mean that this dog is one that's driven to connect with their owner, and not anyone else most of the time. In fact, if you look at the charts that some have on these dogs, you'll find that this Spaniel gets a 1 out of 5 for kid friendliness. That's really low, and thus you should be careful if you want to get this dog and also have children. Furthermore, while they are good at living in places like apartments, you have to make sure you're not in a place that's too hot or too cold, as they don't adapt to that kind of thing very well, nor are they fine with being left alone for long stretches of time. Oh, and they also shed like the dickens. So why do people even want this dog again? <laughs> oh right, it can be a good companion. And it can be for a very specific person, I suppose. Number 16. Brussels Griffin the Brussels Griffin is definitely not your typical kind of dog, which is good for those of you who want a rather unique kind of pet and not the standard fare. This Belgian bred dog was originally made to go and kill rats in the streets and was very good at performing this job. They are very much a mix of styles and personalities that you wouldn't expect from a dog of this size. For example, they can be good protectors and companion dogs, but they also have an air of self-importance, likely from generations of being told that they were good boys at their dogs. If you have one at an apartment, you might be in trouble, because these dogs' heightened senses will get them going off on a barking frenzy if they feel that something's going on that's wrong. And given that they likely won't adapt to all the noises of a large apartment complex, that can be quite problematic. This is all very surprising for a dog that at max gets to be 8 inches in height and not only weighs about 12 pounds. Oh, and it should be noted that this is not a dog for those who are just learning to be a pet owner. They have a very specific set of needs, and it will be your job to maintain them for better and for worse. Number 15. Pekingese the Pekingese does have a funny name, but once you look at the dog, you might be as enamored with it as the Chinese emperors were back in the day. Oh yes, this is one of many royal pets that have been bred across history. To that end, the Pekingese were revered as lion dogs because of how their fur looked like the mane of a lion. Obviously though, they didn't have the size or the strength of lions, but that was probably for the best. At just 9 inches tall and a maximum of about 14 pounds in weight, the Pekingese are definitely for those who want a royal touch and don't mind spoiling the dog. To be clear, the dog itself is intelligent, loving, and affectionate, and that makes it a loyal pet. So it's definitely one that is adaptable to all types of owners. Plus, as noted, they were the pets of emperors in China, and that made them really good at being in their owner's laps, literally lapping up their affection.
so they don't really need that much exercise and are more than happy to spend their entire day with you. As you may expect, they do have a few personality quirks, mainly in how they present themselves to others, but for you, the owner, they'll be your happy little clown and companion, which to many, that's all you could really ask for. Just like my pet guinea pig Twinkle. Oh, I love you, girl. Number 14. Your Kapoo. All right, if the last entry was a royal dog, then allow me to introduce you to the Yorkapoo, which is apparently a designer dog. Because, as we all know, dogs know dog fashion better than anyone. You think their looks just happen? Oh no. See, I told you the jokes would come. Rather, that term is a reference to how it was a mixed breed in order to get a designed effect. In this case, the Yorkapoo is a cross between a Yorkshire Terrier and a toy or miniature poodle. Intelligent, affectionate, and gentle, they make a delightful companion. They also fit in perfectly to apartment life, but only if you don't mind the barking. So that's already something to keep in mind. Can you shake? Other paw? High five? This is another dog that's perfect for novice owners as well as those who have families and children because they're playful to all and not just to their dedicated owner. This is the biggest dog on our list so far as it can grow to be about 15 inches at the shoulders and be about 14 pounds. The dog has a confidence and energy to it that makes it perfect for many to enjoy. The catch with it though is that it is indeed another dog that needs to have its energy burned in order to keep it happy and to keep you sane. Oh, Oh, and I'm not kidding about the barking, this is a level 5 barker. And if you can't handle a dog that won't be quiet, especially when you're trying to relax or sleep, then you probably want to stay away from this one. Number 13. Japanese Chin If you're ready for another royal species of dog, then allow me to show you the Japanese Chin, a prized dog of imperial families in both China and Japan for over a millennia, but it was in Japan that it got most of its fame as well as its distinctive look. It's only 11 inches and 9 pounds at max, but the Japanese Chin does make up for it in the most unique of ways, which include having a personality that is well, adventurous to say the least. And what do I mean by that? Well, this dog is a bit of a climber, It'll find a way up to certain parts of your home or apartment and then stand atop of them and gaze upon its domain. So in short, if you keep valuable stuff in places where it can climb, it's gonna get knocked down. Intelligent and well-mannered, the Japanese chin does learn quickly, but has a mind of its own at times. If training becomes repetitive, he will choose to do something more entertaining. And that's a very key thing right there, because this is a dog that knows what it wants and it'll find a way to get it. Or be very angry when it doesn't. Key amongst it is the fact that it does not like to be alone at all. A small break? Well, sure, it can probably handle that. But if you leave it alone for a long period of time, it's not going to handle it well. It does prefer to be with its people, and so owners beware if you don't give it that time. Number 12. Chihuahua Yes, I'm finally getting to one of the most famous of all small dogs ever in the entire world, the Chihuahua. A perk of these dogs isn't only their small size, but also their various colors and types of coats. Chihuahuas are a bit more diverse than people may first realize, and that's part of the reason why so many people have them because they find one that matches their style and personality. This is a dog, though, that has affections that are polarizing when you connect with one. It will love you and your family, along with your children, to the ends of the earth, but when it comes to strangers, well, it doesn't really want any part of them. And when it comes to other pets, they can be rather intimidated by them. So you probably shouldn't have a chihuahua if you have other pets in your home already. Don't think that this dog is small and dainty though, although it does rarely get above 9 inches tall and not much more in weight, because they are more than capable of learning fast and showing their mettle. If you haven't noticed, they're frequent in dog shows and are more than capable of being able to go up against the bigger dog species in the world. Not only that, but they also love being around their owners and going with them everywhere that they go. If you may recall movies like Legally Blonde, 
Island and others with high-strung people who carry their dogs in bags, well, that's actually a real thing. Just goes to show that the world is doomed, but the dog seems to like it, so I just digress. Number 11. Alaskan Kleekai Take a look at the Alaskan Kleekai for a moment. What do you think you're looking at? If you said a mini-me version of a Siberian Husky, you wouldn't be all that far off. In fact, the name for the dog, Klikai, is actually an Inuit term meaning small dog, and they do indeed resemble the famous and much larger Husky. But as you might have guessed, there are some differences going on here. At 15 inches high and 20 pounds in weight, that's a fraction of what most Huskies have. But what really separates them is their temperament. The Alaskan Klikai is able to be a bit more capable of a companion dog than the Husky, as that breed was meant to be a workhorse, for lack of a better term, while the Klikai can be a bit more of a focused pet. This breed is loyal, affectionate, and sweet, with the right amount of care, exercise, and attention, which is something you should give all of your dogs, regardless of their size or breed. There are a few things that you do need to know about the Klikai, first of which is that this dog will let you know how its feeling by howling very loudly at you, and I do mean loudly because they just happen to be very vocal dogs. What's more, they're also a bit rare, so while you might find a litter of them around you, be prepared to pay thousands in order to get one of the little pups, and if you can handle all of that, you'll have a rare, adorable, and beloved companion pet. Number 10. Papillon Dog Here's a fun fact for you. I talked about toy spaniels earlier, and here we have one of their descendants, the Papillon dog. A dog that is so regal in certain ways that it was constantly painted by the old masters. Guess they really like this species, huh? The good news for you is that you'll likely be fine having this dog so long as you're close to it often and don't live in any kind of cold weather. It's perfect for apartment life, good with novice owners, and easy to train. It also does well with families and children. If that's not enough for you, it doesn't tend to be a barker and won't just go wandering off just because it can. The catch, as you know to expect at this point, is that it has a high energy level and a need to be exercised. It'll be a playful dog on its own, but that won't be enough at times. It's also one that definitely needs your attention as much as it can possibly get it. The Papillon dog is about the size of many that we've seen on this list and is yet another species that is perfect for dog sports. In fact, it's highly recommended due to the energy level that the dog puts out. And if you're looking for a dog dog to play with, then here you go. If you're looking for a lap dog, then maybe you should search somewhere else. Number 9. Pomeranian And now we have another famous dog species, the Pomeranian. Able to reach 12 inches tall, but only about 7 pounds, this dog may not seem like much, but it does have some upsides that you should be able to work with in the right scenarios. Cute, feisty, and furry, Pomeranians are intelligent and loyal to their families. Don't let their cuteness fool you, however. <laughs> These independent, bold dogs have minds of their own. They're alert and curious about the world around them, which you would think would be a fine thing. That is, until you realize that those minds of their own thing makes them feel like they're invincible, and thus they'll go after dogs that are much bigger than them and start a barking match. In fact, they're a five-star barker, so keep that in mind and maybe invest in some earplugs. But they are easy to train, they can be good with families, and they do shed a lot and have some other flaws that will prevent some of you from trying them out. Number 8. Shih Tzu with a height of 8 to 11 inches and a weight of 9 to 16 pounds, the Shizu is another famous dog, mainly because it has a name that sounds profane but isn't. The first thing we need to talk about here, though, is in terms of its qualities, and not its size, but the fur coat. It's actually a double coat that can be a problem because that means that you need to keep it maintained at all times, which won't be easy for some. 
The twist, though, is that it doesn't shed, so that ends up being a plus. This is a dog where, if you treat it well, it will shower you with love, and that also includes being a very kid-friendly dog. It'll play with you and then at the end of the day be just fine with sitting on your lap and having a great big old rest. Plus, unlike many on this list, you won't actually need to bust a gut trying to exercise it. Go once around the block, or maybe even twice, and you'll both be very fine. Number 7. Dachshund the Dachshund is a small breed with a maximum height of 9 inches, weighing anywhere from 8 to 32 pounds. Yes, it is a small dog that weighs a lot, and that's something to consider before you rush out and get one. Also, you'll want to take into account the different fur coats that this dog can have because it comes with a variety. Now, believe it or not, this mini dog was bred to hunt rabbits, and they used their small size to ensure that they got the job done. Breeding at its finest, I would think. All of your dachshunds are funny, smart, stubborn, and spirited, but also long-haired dachshunds are a bit relaxed. On the flip side, wire-haired are mischievous and tenacious, and a bit more friendly. So again, be mindful of which one you get, and look into which one you want. Training is something that won't come easy with one of these dogs. You'll need to work very hard for them to understand you. So if you're looking for a pet that's easy to get along with, you might want to find one somewhere else. Number 6. Miniature Pincher all hail the king of toys. No, really, that's actually the name for this dog known as the Miniature Pincher. Again, I'm insulting the dog here, people. They're known to be compact little dogs, they don't weigh a whole lot, and they max out at about 12 and a half inches at the shoulders. The Miniature Pincher is a very active and athletic dog, requiring ample exercise. Yes, you'll be able to get it to work out in the house, but it prefers to do things outside with you, so go and enjoy your time with your dog and get some vitamin D from the sun. You both deserve it. This is also a dog species where training is almost required. They're known to be independent and can push things with you if you allow it, so get them to understand true obedience. You should be well enough off, because they do love their owners and typically their families as well. Number 5. Silky Terrier Oh look, we're back at the Terriers! Such a fun species of dog! The Silky Terrier measures just 10 inches at their tallest and weighs between 8 and 10 pounds. Some consider them to be a good enough size to make them the on-the-go dog, and we don't necessarily disagree with that. Getting big dogs in cages can be a pain at times. The best part is that this terrier is one that will be more than happy to go with you on your outdoor adventures. So if you do live an active lifestyle, this might just be the dog for you to have a running buddy as. You'll also have to be careful though, as they do have the tendency to not only bark, but also go after others that it may spot. And it does have a tendency to wander away. Number 4. The Maltese What's a Maltese? It's the stuff that dreams are made of. If you don't get that reference, you just can't be saved. Regardless of that, the Maltese is a very statuesque dog that will definitely turn heads due to its fur coat. It's only about 10 inches tall and about 7 pounds in weight, but it has a lot of things that draw people to it, mainly its fur and the way that it carries itself. No. No. But you don't want to be fooled by looks alone, a good life lesson there. It has a high energy level that you'll have to work with, and that's not all. They're also sometimes intolerant of small children or even other dogs, especially if they've been overly pampered by their owners. They're also ones who can suffer from separation anxiety if they don't get enough regular attention. Number 3. Rat Terrier the Rat Terrier may not seem like the best dog species because of their name and how odd that they look, but don't let that fool you. They can be really fun. They're easily the friendliest dog species on the list. <laughs> 
showing love to not only their owners and their families, but also to other dogs and strangers alike. They do shed a lot, but they're easy to groom, and they're honestly very healthy dogs with an interesting height of 16 inches. But as you could probably guess, they're also very energetic and have to get their playfulness out of their systems, and they're definitely barkers. But if you can get around all of that, then you'll probably be just fine. Number 2. Scottish Terrier the Scottish Terrier is yet another terrier that many have tried out as pets, and the small dog does have a lot going for it, not the least of which is that it's jet black look via its fur. This is also another very friendly dog as they'll be good to you, your family, your friends, and other pets. The only thing that it really likes to bark at, and it does have a deep bark, are things like bicycles and squirrels. They aren't the best for novice owners, they can have health problems at times, and the average height of this dog is about 10 inches and its weight ranges from 18 to 22 pounds depending on its gender. Number 1. Yorkshire Terrier and finally, one last terrier. This time, the Yorkshire Terrier. The Yorkshire Terrier is known for being feisty and yet popular at the same time. In fact, in the United States, it's the dog species under the toy moniker that is the most popular. Yeah. Probably because they're easy to handle due to being 9 inches tall and only about 6 pounds. They're also a dog that's known to form bonds with their owner, and as such, it'll do a very impressive bark at people that it doesn't like, other dogs that are near it, and every squirrel that it ever sees. Oh, how I pity those squirrels. But not you, Twinkle. I love you. Still though, people adore this dog, and uh, they love to have them in their homes. That's all from the realm of really small dog species of the world. Did you know that so many small dogs existed? And which of these did you honestly know about before watching the video? Are there any others that should appear on this list? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.